Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we want to talk a little about GMOs. Oh no, it's a scary topic. And you know, here's what I found over the years. People who are against technology, they talk about GMOs because it sounds scary. Genetically modified organisms. Well, here's the real phrasing and what you should always discuss. It's biotech. It's biotechnology. This is science. And in the end, science is always going to win. What's going to prove safer and better for our overall food system? That's the way things are going to go. We want to discuss biotechnology just a little bit today. What's amazing to me is many of the people that have fought against these GMOs, as they like to call them, are the same people that want to protect our environment. And when I think about that, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. When we look at traits like BT corn, for example, what did that result in? on our farm, it resulted in us using many fewer pounds of insecticides. In fact, in a lot of cases, we didn't use any insecticide at all on fields where we would have done at least one shot, if not two shots of insecticide, trying to stop that bug. Here's so what the, is so bad about the BT trade at all? Yeah, but uh, this is the whole thing, because as farmers, we whatever we say, it's gonna sound bad for us. We talk about, oh, we're using less insecticide. You know what insecticide we were using? In a lot of cases, pounce. We were using the old dry pounce granules. You know what pounce is? What it comes from? It comes from the chrysanthemum flower. You're sprinkling a flower over your crop. It's no big deal. And then, what's this BT corn anyway? Okay, that corn borer trait, you know what it is? All it is is a protein. It's a protein that I can digest just fine. Livestock can digest it just fine. It just so happens that there are certain bugs, like this corn borer, that can't digest it. It sits in its stomach, rots it out. It's very targeted, it's very specific, yet it's very safe to the environment. Why are we so worried about it, especially when organic producers can use that same protein sprayed right over the top of their crop? There's a product called Dipel that's a natural protein that these European corn borers can't digest, but humans and livestock can digest it just fine. It's the same type of stuff. Why is it a big deal for us when we have it in the corn and we're using technology as opposed to those people who are spraying it over the top of the corn in organic production? All right, let's talk about Roundup Ready a little bit. This one seems to be a hot button because Monsanto developed the trait. And now around the world, people are bashing Monsanto about how terrible a company this must be. And I go to other countries and they'll say, oh, this Monsanto is so terrible. And I, I say, well, what's so bad about Monsanto? What are they doing that's terrible? Well, they have this Roundup Ready seed that now you can spray Roundup over the top of the crop. And this is terrible somehow. And I look at it and I say, okay, first of all, let's talk about Roundup and the safety of that particular product versus other herbicides. Roundup has virtually no activity in the soil compared to a lot of herbicides that may last for a long time in the soil. And not that that's a bad thing, but just that if you have less activity on the soil, you probably have less impact on the environment. Then we think about the safety of just handling that product. The LD50 on Roundup, which is a government measure, it's called the lethal dose 50%. And that's how they compare the safety of various herbicides with how much of it would you have to ingest before it would hurt you compared to some other product. Well, the LD50 is about 25 times safer than caffeine. <laughs> it's just crazy. And a lot of the products on the market that are commonly used, it's several times safer than those products. Yeah, and also think about with Roundup, the active ingredient works on an enzyme found only in plants. We don't even have that enzyme. There's no possible physical way that the active ingredient in Roundup is ever going to hurt a human being. It's impossible. So when we think about that being in a crop, now we're spraying less pesticides out there where we would normally have to spray multiple shots of pesticides to control the weeds. Now, certain weeds have developed a resistance to Roundup. That's not Monsanto's fault. That's just going to happen. That's the way nature works. Anytime we try to stop something in nature, whether it's a bug or a weed or whatever, it's going to find its way around it. Uh, that's just going to happen over time. But when you think about the crop, it's really resulted in a lot less pesticide use out there, which if you're an environmentalist, you would think that would be a good thing. Here's the other thing that I always look at when it comes to this whole biotechnology industry. Because of biotech, we are now able to get newer, better varieties, whether it's corn or soybeans, a lot faster than we ever could before. So the way things always used to work is if you wanted to do some breeding, the breeding is basically the same as it's been for a thousand years. You cross one plant with another plant 
you know, two different corn plants, you cross them together, and oh, this resulting thing turns out pretty good. Well, how long does it take to make that cross, plant the seed, grow the crop out, and take it to yield? It takes a really long time. Well, here's what biotechnology has done. Now they've identified genes in the corn plant, in the soybean plant, so they've got this great big genome map of things, and they've started to figure out, well, this particular gene means we're gonna have a lot better roots, or this particular gene means we're gonna have a little bit higher yield, whatever it would happen to be. And then what they do, they do their cross-pollination just like they've done, they raise that seed, but here's the thing, they don't need to grow that next plant out, they do DNA testing. They do the DNA test, they find out what genes made it into that new seed, now they don't have to grow the plant out. So it allows these turns to come a lot faster. So on the farm, this is an awesome thing. We have a lot better varieties than we've ever had before at a lot faster rate. And the end result is we're able to produce food at a lower cost and we're able to produce a lot more food for our growing world. Well, this is the big thing. Biotechnology is really a key to feeding the world. And we look at how population is growing around the world and in some of the countries where it's really growing, like in India and China and across the continent of Africa, there's a lot of people that are malnourished. There are kids that are starving and dying every day because they don't have enough food. As a farmer, this just kills me. I can't stand to see that. When we live in a land where we have plentiful food supplies and growing up on the farm, I never missed a meal, Brian. In fact, I don't know if I've hardly missed a meal my whole life. And we have people that they're lucky if they get one meal per day. We need to raise more food. Biotechnology is part of the solution to this. We can raise better crops, crops that can tolerate the climates in certain parts of the world, can tolerate certain insects or weed pressure or fertility situations, whatever the case may be. We need to do everything we can to raise more food. Rather than stopping and slowing food production, I think we need to accelerate. Well, the big thing is we just want you to do some actual research on this and not listen to all the crazy propaganda that some of these people throw out there. It's absolutely ridiculous. Go to Monsanto, go to Syngenta, go to any of these companies that are working on biotechnology and see what it actually is and what these people are actually doing. If you spend some time at it, you'll find out they're not doing all this crazy weird stuff and taking things out of, you know, who knows where in the environment and everything else and crossing it with 18 other things. Biotechnology is helping our growing world. It's really made a huge difference. And the other big thing I like to stress to people is when science is involved, science does always win. The facts are gonna come out in the end. And when you look at the facts that our government has produced, the EPA, FDA, Department of Ag, things like Roundup Ready Soybeans. Did you know Roundup Ready Soybeans, before they got approved here in the United States, they underwent more testing than any other product in the history of the world prior to EPA, FDA, and Department of Ag approval here in this country. So it's an enormous, thing when we're talking about biotechnology. There are lots of different pieces to it. We just want you to do some actual research and I think you're going to find biotechnology is the way that things are going to go coming in the future. Well, speaking about your future, if you want to have a good crop in the future, you have to control our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how coming up later in the show.